Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The H-2040 is all metal tandem seat aircraft with a bubble canopy and a T-tail configuration. It features a retractable tricycle landing gear system with a steerable nose wheel. The aircraft will be primarily used for basic flight training, acrobatics, instrument flying and close formation flights. It is well suited for missions in and around India's border and for coin operation. The first prototype of HTT-40 trainer was rolled out from the Aircraft Research and Design Center ARDC hangar in February 2016. The HTT-40 aircraft made its first flight in May 2016. Back in May 2020, the then Chief of Air Staff Arkes Bhaduria has told Indian Air Force plan to acquire 450 fighters in next 15 years. Indian Air Force plans to acquire 83 LCA Mark 1A for which we have seen the order being placed and production started, approximately 100 LCA Mark 2, 6 squadrons of MCA, 36 Rafals, 114 MRCA or now MRFA and 70 HTT-40 aircrafts. In August 2020, the DAC chaired by Defence Minister Shirad Nath Singh has approved 106 HTT-40 for Indian Air Force. On February 2021, during the Aero India show, HL has received an RFP for 70 HTT-40 from Indian Air Force with additional clause of 38 more. The aircraft will be produced at two manufacturing units of HL at Bengaluru and Nasik. On 4th August 2021, HL announced that STT-40 had completed spin certification flight testing. It has already demonstrated 10 turn spins and ready for operational clearance. Now, on 6th of June, STT-40 received its airworthiness clearance certificate from CEMILAC. The project set a record as fastest to reach certification from the first flight. STD-40 is designed to the PSQR issued by Indian Air Force and FAR-23 standards. The aircraft is powered by Honeywell's Garrett TPE-3315 turboprop engine which is being manufactured, overhauled and repaired by HL under the license from the Garrett engine division of Honeywell. The same engine is also used in Donier Doe 228 aircraft. It can deliver 40 hours of flying for the same cost as compared to F-16 or MiG-29 will deliver in just one hour, which kind of explain why the plane gets the number in its name, that is STD-40. The aircraft can strap up guns and bombs and get into even combat mode when there is need for one. It can fly up to 600 km per hour and reach a maximum altitude of 6 km with a maximum takeoff weight of 2800 kgs. The trainer can be configured to carry guns, rockets, bombs to perform light combat and counter insurgency missions. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.